Hey everyone, wasn't that intro music lit? Yes, it was. Anyway, today I'm gonna be doing a holiday makeup look for you guys, and it's gonna look like this. It's really gold and nice, and the red lip, of course. So, yeah. Um, if you wanna see this tutorial, go ahead and keep on watching, okay? Let's get started. Okay, so today I'm gonna start off with a fresh face dance and probably listen to some Rihanna, you know. And I'm gonna moisturize my face first um, and dance more. And I'm actually, for foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundations. And I have so many colors, I literally forgot which colors I used, so I kinda just guessed and hoped for the best. I like to use a flat brush with this foundation and I like to mix the Fenty uh, primer on my brush to mix it all in. I don't know. I just think it works so good now That's like my favorite thing to do with my foundations and I realized it was a little light So I went ahead and mixed in my Fenty foundation because it was darker and yeah, just mix it all up And then for concealer I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in tan and this is my favorite concealer. You will see me using it every single time I do my makeup because it's the bomb, bombest of bomb. Next, I'm going to use my Hoola Quickie Contour Stick from Benefit. This, I actually really love the color of it. It just gives you like a really quick, nice contour, but not harsh. And I'm just blending it out with that same brush that I used for my foundation. To set underneath my eyes, I'm using my Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. This is the yellow one. I believe it's um, banana-ish powder or whatever. I really can't remember. But I go ahead and set that underneath my eyes. As you can tell, I dropped some on my lap. But let's ignore what I said. Next, I'm using this Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I have two different colors because I didn't know which color to use. So I got a lighter one or one that kind of matches my like face and then one that's a little bit darker if I wanted to be a little bit more bronzy so I went ahead and set all around my face with the lighter one and then I got the darker one and then I went ahead and bronzed up my face just a little bit I'm gonna end up using bronzer but I just wanted to go ahead and do it still you know and then I'm going to get a Becca um, bronzer. This one's darker and I actually like to just deepen up the very corners and give myself like a deeper, more precise and bold contour. Yeah. And then go on the sides of my nose too so it doesn't get lost in my face. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Granite. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows with this Maybelline Brow Setter. It is a clear eyebrow gel. I really like how it works. Next for eyes, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Heat Palette and I'm gonna use this, these two colors just like as a transition, a very light color. Now I'm going to use the Lime Crying Venus 2 palette and get this yellowy mustard shade. And I'm going to go ahead and put that right under the transition color. Now I'm going to get my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt and Trophy Wife, the nice pretty gold color. And we're going to go ahead and spray a makeup brush, like a concealer brush with some setting spray. I'm using the Morphe one. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that and put it on my eyelid. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to use two separate ones. One's a liquid 
and one is a felt tip eyeliner. I'm using the liquid because I really want a bold, precise, like bigger wing. And then I actually use that felt tip liner in a little bit to go ahead and get all the creases and make the, the wing more sharp. That felt tip eyeliner actually is really good to get as close to your lashes as possible because it's kind of hard with a liquid eyeliner without it getting all over your lashes. And there we go, wing on fleek. Look how sharp it is. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some eyelashes. Yep, and I'm using that new glue, that eyelash glue, the House of Lashes, I think. It's so bomb, like I love it. I put it in my haul, my Sephora haul, and I said I was gonna let y'all know. My lashes do not move, not one bit. After I put my lashes on, I'm gonna go ahead and curl them with a lash curler. It makes their lashes just look so good and it mixes your lashes in, and blends it in with the falsies. Now time for mascara. I'm using the Lancome Definitions. I don't know how to say it, but this mascara is bomb diggity, bomb diggity, bomb diggity. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of blush. This one is from the Sephora collection. Now time for the best part. This right here is the Artist Couture Times Jackie Highlighter. It is a new one. This is La Peach. She had LeBron's before and they both came back. I mean, the other one came back and this one is new and it came out. Look how, oh my God, oh my God. That's all I gotta say. Look how beautiful it is. If you haven't got your hands on it, you definitely need to like right now. Don't watch my video, just go, go get it. Now, of course, for the lips, I am using the Fenty Beauty Sun Lip Paint in Uncensored. This red lipstick is literally everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. Yeah. If you don't have a red lip, this is like the one you need to go get like right now. Again, stop watching my video. Go get it. It's just such a good lipstick. Like, look how I didn't even have to dip in any other time. Just once. It's just so pretty. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Morphe Setting Mist Spray, the best one ever. And yeah, let it dry. Ooh, girl, now we is done. Holiday ready. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Love you, everybody, and happy holidays. Bye.